Hi, Scorpio singles. Okay, so we're going to get entwined with your reading. Um, we're going to see what energy you pick up for Scorpio singles today. So if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on my channel. If it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description. All right, so let's see what's going on for Scorpio singles. Scorpio singles, please. What's going on for Scorpio singles? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take that. That's just way too many. Scorpio singles, please. Angels, one at a time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wow, the Knight of Swords. I've been getting this card a lot. All right, we have your 1111 universe. Okay, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> so I'm seeing a blockage of an immature energy. This could be a friend, um, could be Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy that you're not just willing to talk to or to fix the situation right now. I feel like this person was coming off very jealous, like this jealous vibe that's, that you're getting in this read, okay? And I feel like a lot of you Scorpios notice this. You are definitely here, Scorpio, in the death. You're ready to move forward. You're not trying to linger into this negative energy. You're trying to move on the positive and take this experience into a positive light. Whatever that might mean for you, even if it's a dark one, you're just like, you know what? I'm not going to do this with you right now. I feel like for those of you, you're definitely ready to move forward when it comes to a relationship. Um, when it comes to a real relationship, a real solid one, because I feel like what you've been handed in the past is, you know, things that just never fit, things that never felt right, things that never last. There was no future here with anyone special, okay? This is what I'm seeing, like, you know what? When you think about this, this, these people that you even hang with or had an opportunity with, it's like they never made it to the next round. I'm seeing like some of you have been, your longest relationship was probably four months, okay? Um, and that is uh, uh, um, the longest that you ever had. But that's because you haven't met the right one, you know? And it's, um, you know, so easy to say that. And I hate when people, you know, used to say that to me when I didn't know the process or didn't trust in the process but now I do and I understand the process and you just have to just make sure you're working on yourself here but I feel like you are you, you're not stuck in anything from the past and this is good this is good you're you're ready to move forward okay I do see that you're wrapping up something in the ten of pentacles this could also indicate a lot of you um, just came out of a relationship or something with a legacy maybe you moved out of your your mom's house your father's house something to do with family here that you are just tying up okay um, it could be a relationship where you have um, built something with someone for those of you that you know had gotten a divorce were brought a house together some kind of business together but I feel like you know you're tying that up there is no, um, it was like a bad investment. This is what I'm seeing in the Seven of Pentacles. It was like a mistake. Like he wanted this to grow, had no doubt, but now you're getting all that is yours and you're packing up and you're just separating everything and moving away. So tell me, yeah, you're walking out of this house, of this tower. I'm getting Aries Leo energy. This, this relationship for some of you, this could be a power struggle, someone trying to control you. You don't want to be controlled. This is your energy again, Scorpio Aries. We have Scorpio here in the death as well. So tell me more. It's like you're walking out, you're leaving this behind. Suddenly, I feel like it's like you woke up one day and made this decision to just like, I mean, the decision took, 
it came out of nowhere, but you are going through this experience for a long time because I assure you, Scorpio, if this was a good environment, you would not be leaving. But you're realizing that this isn't a good environment for you. Yeah, this person is quite selfish. This person is going to give you, give you this amount of time, which is nothing. When they want to do something, when they want to go somewhere, I feel like, you know, you don't have any kind of say in where you want this relationship to go. The funny thing is I had a relationship like this too and no one, the funny thing is you talk to this person, you tell them they think that nothing is wrong. So it's like this vibe, I don't know, it could be a friendship here that is just one way like, or, or um, again, your mom or your dad or your siblings, right? Um, but this person comes in and gets you a gift or something when things go wrong and no conversation. You know, and again, it just goes back to where it was after that. It's like nothing have changed here in the Four of Pentacles. This is all that they can give you. It's like their, their way or no way. And it's like that's what you have to deal with. We have the devil here in reverse. There's no change, definitely, with that devil being there. Oh, my goodness. Capricorn energy for some of you. Okay, I have the Queen of Cups here. Also, the, uh, the Queen of Swords and the nine of cups very interesting i just feel like wow you guys built a lot together you guys accomplished a lot together with this um nine of cups here i mean this person still sees success with you okay in the nine of cups when they do see you they see goodness they see you know a kind energy you know they want to communicate with you and want to give you this offer but guess who you're dealing with someone in reverse here in the devil very very you know manipulative mind i feel like this person can turn things around and make it feel make you feel like you are the bad person in this whole situation the offer is a really strong offer in the queen of cups here very very stable offer and i see communication with you and this person you know you're putting your feet down and saying your peace you're not a, you're not going to be very sensitive to this person and there's a reason why you're doing that because this person hurts you constantly Whoever this person is to you, singles, I just feel like um, you're going to definitely put your feet down and, you know, be sensitive or try to be as sensitive as you can. But I don't feel like you're going to really believe. It's like you're listening to what this person has to say, but again, your eyes are up in your head. It's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And this is what we talked about before kind of energy. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of childhood issues in the devil being in reverse here. But they're putting all of this on you. And you feel like you're on the wrong path with your 1111 being in reverse. There's like a huge conflict in your house. This is what its vibe is, is saying. This huge conflict in your house. The 1111, that's what it talks about. The home. And I just feel like... You wasted, like, you feel like you waste your time here, you know? Like you're on the wrong track with everything. Like you're not in the right place. Like you're not supposed to be here. Like you made a, a, a wrong move. I feel like that's the energy that's coming up. Like you feel that energy. But I feel like everything happens for a, a reason, you guys. You have to trust the process. And we're going back to that. Trust in the process. All right, so tell me more. Wow, the Emperor, okay? Very determined energy coming through here. So I feel like this is you, but again, I, I was getting Aries energy for you though, Scorpio, because the tower is here, Aries, Scorpio energy. And here below it is an Aries, okay? Someone that is definitely, you could have a lot of Aries in your chart for those Scorpio, but I'm, but I'm feeling like this power struggle, someone is trying to take control of this relationship. I'm not saying that this person doesn't really care, but this person is all about stability and money. I, this person is all about, you know, making sure that they have a roof over their heads. I feel like this person uh, wants to make all the decisions when it comes to an investment. You know what I mean? They don't want you to have any kind of control over that. So let's see here. This is kind of like not your thing, Scorpio, because you don't like to be controlled unless you let it happen. You don't like to be sub submissive to anyone unless you really love that person and you give them that 
permission to do so. Someone just can't come in your life and try to take your power. You're going to have a, a huge problem with that. Okay. All right. So we have the hermit. Okay. In the back of the deck. And I feel like you're at this place that you don't even know about yet. Because this is something that hasn't happened yet. Like I'm seeing you backing off of this person. Backing off of this relationship. Taking a step back in the hermit. And try to find out what is right for you out there. What you need to be doing. Um, this is not a situation that you want to pursue because it's not good for you emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. This is what I'm feeling here. This person has their own demons to fight. And I feel like in the reverse, this person is very hard headed in Capricorn. And I also feel like this person is going to have a hard time even getting out of this energy. It's so, it's been so, so long. That this person has been handling all these situations, these emotions by themselves, haven't been getting on any kind of guidance or help, whether it is a counselor or something like that, something to help them to talk about things. And they just kept everything inside. So I just feel like it's going to be a very hard situation. And a lot of this, a lot of your people, um, your person, um, Scorpio, is either taking drugs, drinking. Um, you know, either having sex addiction just to mold that feeling or control the feeling of that not being wanted, not being heard, having their power taken away from them. They're trying to, you know, it's like just for that moment of being free and being loved and feeling like they're appreciated in life. They're doing other addictive, toxic you know, things to mold that, you know, to create that, you know, life for themselves. So that's who you're dealing with here. I feel like you can't help them. Uh, uh, you know, Scorpio, I know you feel like you are strong and you can, you know, you are the key to a lot of things. But this person needs to go on their own journey, on their own. You cannot help them to get better. You know, they're so deep in it and I feel like they love it. They love it in the reverse. It's like nothing is wrong with them. It's just you, right? They're putting everything on you like you're the problem. They're not the problem. You're the problem. Whoever this is, okay? So I definitely feel like you're going to be letting go, okay? Like I told you in the Hermit that you, you know, you don't have that force of energy um, right now. Like you're trying to make better and wiser decisions in the future this is what i'm seeing for you but when it comes to depression anxiety going back and forth with yourself and saying you did this and you could have made better decisions you're gonna let that stuff go this is what i'm seeing here in the nine of swords you're taking a break you know congratulations for standing up for yourself like i saw in the queen of swords you're standing up for yourself no more crap and I feel like you're going to stay there for a while until you're ready to speak to this person. Because I see this person is coming towards you. And I see options are going to be um, going to be at your front center with other energies. Okay, But I'm not sure if this is something that you're going to be wanting. I feel like this is something that's going to remind you of the past. So you need to be very, very specific on what you want when it comes to manifesta manifestation, when it comes to a relationship romantically, friendships, Okay, um, creating a new family for yourself if this is a situation when it's a family situation. And also, I just feel like the truth within this person I feel like they're going to be coming towards you, but very, very slowly because they're afraid of what you might say, okay? Because I do see a form of love here in the Eight of Wands. You know, this could be a sibling love. This could be a love of a relationship, a past relationship. But I feel like this person is holding back a lot when it comes to the truth with you. You know, being very scared, being very slow in that slow process. But I do see a lot of choices that the angels are giving you a lot of choices in different people, different energies. Now, you have to be specific what you want, like I said before, because they're not all as they appear to be. Some will remind you of the past. Some will be like, wow, this is interesting. And some will be fake. So you have to like take your time, date, mingle, get to know each other. Don't have intercourse with anyone until you're sure, okay? This is what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this helps singles. And yeah, and be careful with money too with this investment card because I'm seeing you packing up your money in the Ten of, Pen Ten of Pentacles. And also in the Seven of Pentacles, I'm seeing like bad investments here. So you could have loaned this person money. 
Um, you could have, you know, definitely se separated your financial matters with this person if it's a love situation and you're moving on and they're moving on here but you're saying wow you could you you know a lot of you walked away with nothing because of this situation a bad investment here so you're like starting over from scratch so be careful with your money okay this is what i'm feeling so i feel like you're going to be okay but this is just an experience for you you can't take it anymore i'm seeing you walking away here trying to end whatever this um relationship is and you're going to be just just fine you know you're just going to need to protect your mental state like i said it's not good for you mentally spiritually or physically and you're taking that time for yourself you're letting a lot of things go because you cannot be controlled okay love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys